was a very ambitious plan. What was lacking was the, uh, any, it was an unfunded, huge government overreach. In theory, the Sprague and Appleway revitalization plan had potential, designed to spruce up the Spokane Valley and encourage economic growth. Nearly a year and a half later, with a million dollars already spent towards the project, very little has happened. Every plan has kinks in it that need to be worked out, and we need to do that. There's no doubt about it. It has their changes that need to be made, and we've been making those changes for about the last, what, four or five months. With the kinks still needing to be ironed out, the city of Spokane Valley is steps closer to scrapping the plan altogether. But I don't think throwing the baby out with the bathwater is the way we need to go. The current SART plan changes zoning and building codes, creating different districts in the city, including a city center that's come under attack by the business community. The present city center zoning stymies growth and development, just in a reverse of what we want for our city. Tonight, the Spokane Valley City Council heard from concerned citizens speaking for and against saving the city center plan. I want a good city. I don't want Sprague Avenue to be what my grandchildren inherit. It's ugly out there and we want it to be fixed. In the end, the city council voted to move forward with an emergency ordinance, making the city center vision a step closer to becoming a part of history.